Hello and welcome back to another Understand Your Buy video. In this video, we're looking at buying limit. So what is it? Well, a buying limit is a limit you can impose on how much of something somebody can buy from you. When you see new products in the shops, like the drink Prime, for example, that are really popular, a buying limit is imposed to genuinely stop resellers from profiteering and to help people access your product in a fair way. How does it work? Well, a buying limit works because we only place limits on things that are very popular or they're expected to be very popular to make sure as many people as possible can benefit from them. So when you have a buying limit, you can imply an expected level of demand or demonstrate an actual level of demand. And in both those cases, your buyer is going to be feeling FOMO, fear of missing out. How can you use it? Well, if you have a product, this is the most obvious usage, you identify a limit of X per customer, one, two, three, whatever, and advertise that limit. This is to promote genuine scarcity, and it must be genuine, and to imply expected popularity. The limitation has to be per person rather than the overall supply to make this work. So we couldn't just say there's a limited to 500 units, but you can buy whatever you want. The buying limit is limited to each person. There's 500 units. Each person can only buy two units maximum. Secondly, if you have a service, now there's no obvious alternative for a service, but what you can do here is to highlight the number of people that you work with or serve as the limit. So we can only work with two more people this month. We can only work with one more person this week. It's not entirely a buying limit, but it's definitely along the same lines in using FOMO, fear of missing out, and scarcity to drive action. So that's the buying limit. When you restrict purchases to a certain number per customer, people tend to buy the maximum number from a place of fear of missing out. Well, that's it for another Understand Your Buyer video. And if you like this kind of stuff, then you'll definitely like the book, which you can buy at understandyourbuyer.com.